Nature's wealth, good for your health. This is the raw life health. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the raw life health show, everybody. And uh, I am living in Candyland, literally living in Candyland. And you might say, well, if you're a raw vegan, why are you eating candy? This is the type of candy I'm talking about. These mangoes and all these other fruits. Now, when I grew up, uh, I ate a terrible diet in New York. I lived in a city. I didn't know anything about growing fruit. But when I became a raw vegan, I had such a desire to gravitate towards nature and go to places where fruit grows on trees. And I remember I called up uh, somebody. It was actually Dave Wolf from uh, Nature's First Law. He was living in San Diego at the time. And I asked him, how is it? Can you just walk on the street out there and see fruit on the trees? And he says, sometimes, but not really. And I would say, well, I've got to get to a place where that could happen. And I ended up going to California. And I stayed on a farm when I was like 19 years old of my friend Gordon, who had a farm in Ojai, California. And he was growing some pretty cool trees. And I said, one day I would like to have that for myself. And that has become a reality. I only have a small yard here, but I've learned how to plant stuff in a way where I can uh, get as much food as possible. So I want to show you today a little of my yard. I have all these different mangoes, and people don't understand the different amount of varieties of mangoes that are out there. The ones I was just near are called lemon zest mangoes. These are called cat mangoes. They're from uh, Vietnam, I believe. But I also have other fruits. Now, we've all heard of jackfruit, right? I have tons of jackfruit growing here. And I used to buy all these things in New York. I used to buy all these things right from the, the stores, but now I'm growing them. And it's amazing. There's my jackfruit. And and listen, I don't have a lot of money or live on a, a plantation in Hawaii. This is with a tiny yard here in South Florida. I'm growing these things. And some of you might think, well, we can't do that, so we can't eat a raw food diet. No, for years I lived in New York City and I ate a raw vegan diet with no problem. And you can grow wherever you are. In my house now and just like in New York, I actually grew sprouts. You don't need land to grow sprouts. Uh, to grow a garden, you don't need a lot of space to grow a garden. But I just wanted to not boast, but just show you today of there's some jackfruit and just some of the things that I have uh, growing on here in South Florida. And if you, I remember I used to take trips down to South Florida and go to the farms when I lived in New York on the weekends. If you have an opportunity, we're coming up on, on the season now where it's tropical fruit season. So look at these, all of these mangoes. This one's called a Kerry mango. Delicious. And you can even grow figs here in South Florida. They don't grow like in California, but they grow wonderful. This one is a mame called mame. If you've never had mame, it's amazing. And if here's a great thing is you don't have to only be in Florida to taste these uh, because you can order these through the mail. And my friend at Laura Farms, he ships mame, even mangoes and other fruits through the mail. My friend Alex at Tropical Acres Farms, they ship mangoes through the mail. They have 300 different varieties. And I'll put those links below. If you're a raw foodist, you can still get these. Here's another thing that people don't know grow here in South Florida. This is persimmons. These are tropical persimmons. Persimmons are great. They grow more in a colder climate, but there are tropical ones that grow here. This is a mango called orange sherbet. Yes, it tastes like orange sherbet. I used to get that when I was a kid. The orange sherbet popsicles. Well, it has that taste. This one here is lemon meringue. It literally tastes like lemon meringue pie. And there's one right on the floor right now that's ready. Look at that. Lemon meringue mango. And it goes on and on and on. You see there's a, there's a yellow one up there. I don't know if you can see it. That's ripe now. But as a raw foodist, I don't eat just fruit. I'm not a fruitarian. I eat a good amount of fruit in season. But I also eat salads. I got a garden I'll, uh, that I'm working on. But I also grow avocados. To me, as a raw foodist, avocados are very special. And this one's called the Simmons avocado. And I have a bunch of different varieties of avocados. And again, I'm not doing this video to boast. 
I'm just letting you know you can order all of these through the mail uh, at the links below if you are a raw foodist and you really have a desire to to taste these different foods. Here's another one that's really amazing. This one is called white sapote. Look at that. White sapote. It's another fruit here that a lot of people haven't heard of here in South Florida. I mean in the world, but South Florida and California are two places in the country where you can grow white sapote. And literally tastes like vanilla pudding. That might be one of my favorite fruits of all fruits. Wow. So I'm gonna come out here with a bucket and fill up the bucket with all the bright man mangoes and all the white sapotes that just came off the tree. And let me show you my garden now. I'm not gardening it much now because it's uh, turning into summer. I'm actually gonna plant some watermelons, <laughs> but in the winter, that's a full garden. And I plant a lot of greens in the winter. Right now I got collars, a bunch of collars in my garden that I love to juice. I love to juice. So there's a bunch of collard, collard greens. So yeah, I mean, it helps to be in a warmer environment if you're eating a raw vegan diet. Here's another avocado tree. But again, you don't have to be in a warm environment to do this. So I, I gotta show you guys this. This is amazing. Look, look at those. The tree is just loaded with jackfruit. There's a bunch on this tree. And uh, so I want to encourage you all. There's a papaya tree. Look, like I said, I have a really tiny yard. And I'm able to fit these trees. Well, not really tiny. It's about a quarter acre. But the links are below. It's summertime right now. And now's the time where you could order these things if you really desire them. You can order them and get them, these different fruits as well. Remember, Laura Farms and Tropical Acres Farms are two of the many places that sell fruits through the mail and definitely worth it. So I wanted to make this video to remind you to do it. My friend John, he's been raw a long time. He also has a bunch of a channel called Growing Your Greens. He teaches how to grow greens. There's my green beds there. And this is a new green bed I have. A lot of you that don't want to uh, make the gardens out of cement blocks, this is a, a new bed out of this material that this company is selling. I'll put a link below to this as well. I just filled it up with dirt and I'm gonna put greens in there. You can put, grow greens just about in any environment. Uh, maybe not the whole year, but some of the year. So no excuses to eat more raw fruits and vegetables in your diet. Go ahead and do it. It does make a difference. This is nature's prevention. Guards medicine. You'll feel amazing. And, and, and you just gravitate towards living a more natural, healthy lifestyle when you surround yourself with live plants and you eat them. I don't eat animals. There's no animals on my farm, and if there were, I wouldn't be eating them. <laughs> All right, everybody, put your comments, questions below. Have a great day, and keep growing. Nature's wealth, good for your health. This is the Raw Life Health Show. Nature's wealth, good for your health. This is the Raw Life Health Show. Nature's wealth, good for your health. This is the raw life.